morning and welcome to another edition of Ed's Model Madness. Yes, I said good morning. It's like 5.30 in the morning right now. That's why I got all these lights on so you guys can actually see me. Um, I usually get up around 4 o'clock so that I can get to work on time. So uh, 5.30, yeah, I slept in a little bit this morning. I got my beauty rest. Hopefully you can tell. So anyway, just kidding. Thanksgiving. Uh, hopefully everybody had a great Thanksgiving this week. Um, hopefully you got a chance to spend it with uh, friends and family if you celebrate that holiday. Uh, I know that we were out of town. We spent it with uh, family as well. And uh, with being out of town, uh, working last week, I just haven't had a whole lot of time to really do anything with my models. Um, now, I did do a little bit of work yesterday with my SMWG Cancer Awareness Tribute for my friend. Uh, I'll go ahead and show you what I did get done on that. Okay, quick update on the SMWG Cancer Awareness Tribute build that I've been working on. It's a 2016 Camaro SS. It is a black concept, so the whole thing's going to be black. Now, I did the paint a couple weeks ago, and as you can see, it's really uh, turned out nice. It's, it's set long enough to where, you know, it's cured, and it's got a really good shine to it. Uh, there's not much orange peel on it at all. So, what I plan on doing with this is I'm going to go ahead and lay a coat of the Future Acrylic across it and let that dry. I'm going to set it up, set it out of the way, and just let that dry before I start putting like the grill and, and the, the, the headlight inserts and stuff like that because I want them to be a different color black. I want them to be kind of a matte black and they're molded in plastic. Um, I don't know if you can actually see the difference in the back right here. This, this piece on the bottom, this rear valence, that's the molded plastic. And I don't know if you can see it in the video, but it has a slight uh, color variation from the rest of the car and that's what I want to keep um, so I'm actually going to take that back off before I do the uh, the future on the body but I want to have that slight color variation uh, between the grill and, and that lower valence and stuff like that um, so just you know slight hints of contrast as I'm uh, putting this car together now some of the other things that I've been doing um, I worked on the headlights and I don't know if you guys can really see this very well. This car is supposed to have an HID headlight, uh, high intensity discharge headlights. And those I've never actually tried to, to build a model that had an HID headlight. So what I did was I took some of this uh, clear plastic adhesive. Uh, it's from Testers. And I just put a drop of it on the uh, where the headlight is now like I said I'm not real sure if you guys can see this I'll try to point it out to you the headlight is right in right in here and so I, I put a drop of the glue over the chrome uh, where, where the the headlight was and kind of let it dry and it gives it a, a decent look it's not perfect but I mean, for a first try, for never having to do this before, um, it looks pretty cool. Uh, it has a little bit of an iridescent look to it, which HID headlights do, you know, depending on how the light's shining in them and whatnot. Um, so I think that once I put the clear cover over the top of these, uh, whenever I do start putting everything together, I think those are going to look really nice. So um, yeah, got that part done on the headlights working on the engine a little bit now hopefully you can see all of this I scratch built the oil dipstick uh, hopefully you guys can see that it's got the little yellow pull knob on the top and I did ignition wires you can see them coming out from underneath the cover right there so I don't know if you can see the ignition wires on there or not and I also got the exhaust manifolds on there. Uh, a little bit other detail work. Um, I still need to put the rest of the engine together, put the front fan on and everything. But that's what I got done on the engine so far. It's starting to look pretty decent. I'm not gonna put a ton of detail into this because the way it sits in the car, it's actually kind of hidden. 
I'm okay with not having the extra work if you can't see it. So I'm probably not gonna go real crazy uh, with the engine uh, aside from what I've done. I, I was thinking that these are gonna be features that you can see once the engine's mounted into the car. Okay, so the other thing that I wanted to talk about was shop cards. I got a shop card from John Pohl. Uh, and hopefully I, I pronounced his name correctly. And, and if I didn't, John, I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, last week, right before we left for Thanksgiving, uh, it came in the mail, this shop card, and it's got this nice note written on the back of it. And in fact, I'll, I'll just show it to you. Okay, so like I told you, I got a shop card in the mail from John Paul. And hopefully you can see that. So he sends this and he writes, thanks for subbing, keep on building and having fun. That's what it's all about. John and Jacob Pohl. So how cool is that? I mean, this, this is really something that I'm gonna cherish for a long time. I'm gonna put it on my wall uh, whenever I get to a point to where you know I'm, I'm set up to do that. Um, that's what I wanna do with, with all of you guys as well. Um, I know I've already kind of mentioned it in the video a little bit, but if you do have a shop card, please shoot me an email, leave me a comment, whatever, so that I can get in touch with you. And, and I would love to start collecting some of the shop cards from some of you guys out there. Okay, so shop cards. I've always kind of been curious. What is the shop card? What's the draw? John had, had a little link on one of his videos said, if you want one, shoot me an email. So I did. And um, I, I, I kind of thought that they were like trading cards, something like that. And I don't know if I'm on the right track with this or not. Uh, if I'm not, you guys correct me, uh, you know, down in the comments. Let me know, you know, shop cards. What do you use them for? Um, you know, I, like I said, I, I figure they're like trading cards and you know, you'll collect everybody's and uh, I've seen some of you guys, y'all got them pinned all up on the walls and uh, hopefully one day I'll have my own workspace that, uh, that I can pin stuff like that up on the wall as well. <coughs> now, excuse me, I've asked my daughter to go ahead and uh, do a design for me of uh, what, what my shop card might look like. So hopefully in the near future, I'll have some shop cards that uh, you know I can trade with some of you guys as well. I would love to start collecting your shop cards. I'm gonna leave my email in the description of this video. And if you guys have shop cards and you would like to uh, send one to me uh, when I get mine, if you would like to trade, um, let me know. Uh, shoot me an email or whatever. Let me know in the comments. Uh, but yeah, it, it's just, it's really cool. It's kind of uh, kind of like an expansion, you know, of my channel. I've been doing this since June, so uh, I'm at the five month mark right now. Speaking of, uh, you know, five months, I got 149 subscribers. Um, I've got one video that had 461 views on it. I never thought any of my videos would get that sort of attention. So, thanks to each and every one of you guys for watching my channel, for your subscriptions, for your time. Uh, thank you for your comments. You know, I've learned a lot after watching some of you fellas, uh, guys and gals, and uh, hopefully I'll continue to learn. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit the subscription button, hit the notification button so you'll know when I do a new video. Uh, you can come on over and uh, you can see what it is Ed's Model Madness is up to this week. Uh, sometimes uh, it's models, sometimes it's just rhetoric, sometimes it's antics. You never know what you're going to get. So anyway, again, thanks. I really, really appreciate it. And God bless each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. Bye.